Hello ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the most important questions of first week of February 2020. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. Now, let's start. Sampriti is a joint military training exercise between India and which country? So, it is a joint military exercise between India and Bangladesh and the 9th edition of Sampriti will be in Meghalaya. Last edition that means the 8th edition held in Bangladesh and this edition is going to be in India in Meghalaya. Now Bangladesh was also in news as it is the top country in global gender gap index in South Asia. India recently observed Martyrs Day on 30th of January to pay homage to which Indian leader. So Martyrs Day is observed on 30th of January to pay homage homage to the death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi ji. Which Indian journalist has been selected as the recipient of 2019-20 PEN Gauri Lankesh Award? So this award is given to the individual or organization which works in the field of journalism and shows tremendous courage and democratic journalism. And this time Mr. Yusuf Jamil was selected for this award. As per the recent economic outlook survey released by FICCI that is FICCI, what is the estimated GDP growth forecast for 2019-20? So the estimated annual GDP growth forecast for 2019-20 is 5% as per the economic outlook survey released by FICCI that is Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Who has been appointed as the new chairman of Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs recently. So, recently Mr. M. Ajit Kumar was appointed as the new chairman of CBIC and this appointment was confirmed by ACC, that is Appointment Committee of Cabinet. The previous chairman of CBIC was Mr. Pranab Kumar Das. Ajmal Sultan Puri, who passed away recently, was the renowned poet in which language? Right answer is Urdu. So he was well known Urdu poet and recently he passed away. The Department of Telecom India has recently taken over the process to issue and manage the allocation of IMEI. Now the question is what is the full form of IMEI? So IMEI stands for International Mobile Equipment Identity and it is a 15 digit serial number. Khadi wrist watches have been recently launched by the KVIC that is Khadi and Village Industries Commission in association with which company? So recently Union Minister Mr. Nitin Gadkari launched Khadi wrist watches and these watches have been manufactured by a joint initiative of KVIC and Titan. Who has been appointed as next ambassador of India to Nepal? So Mr. Vinay Mohan has been appointed as India's next ambassador to Nepal. Previously, India's ambassador to Nepal was Mr. Manjeev Singh Puri. And now, Mr. Vinay Mohan is going to take his place. Mr. Vinay Mohan is currently serving as the India's ambassador to France. Which Indian think tank has been ranked among top 30 think tanks globally as per the recent report? So recently, global go-to think tank index report was released. And as per this index, ORF that is Observer Research Foundation has been placed among the top 30 think tanks globally at 27th rank. Which global technology company recently announced $1 million grant to promote news literacy in our country? So this announcement was made by Google. So recently Google announced this $1 million grant for a non-profit news literacy organization named Intern News and as a part of this initiative, workshops will be organized in the Indian cities to inculcate news literacy and to counter the fake news. Which state has recently banned all type of online lottery schemes in the state? So this decision was taken by the state government of Punjab to ban all types of online lottery schemes. Punjab was also in news as recently Punjab passed resolution against CAA that is Citizenship Amendment Act. 
Matthew Satya Babu, who recently passed away, was associated to with sports. So he was associated to basketball, and he was captain of basketball team. Recently, he passed away in Chennai. Which Indian sports person recently became the first ever hockey player to win the World Games Athlete of the Year award? So C is Ms. Rani Rampal, and C became the first. Our hockey player to win World Games Athlete of the Year award. India's first fruit train for export was flagged off recently in which state? So recently, the first of its kind fruit train of the country was recently flagged off from Andhra Pradesh, and this train will deliver content to Jawaharlal Nehru Port in Mumbai. So from Andhra Pradesh to Mumbai, this will deliver content, and from there. This will be exported to Iran. So this was India's first fruit train for the export. That means the train will transport the fruit content from Andhra Pradesh to Maharashtra, and from there it will be exported to Iran. Christine Sinclair, who recently became the world's all-time leading goal scorer in football, belongs to which country? So she is the footballer of Canada, and she is the captain of Canada national team. She recently created a record of becoming the world's all-time international leading goal scorer. Which global firm has recently developed a new artificial intelligence model to protect the endangered whale species? So this has been developed by Google to protect the whale species. So this artificial intelligence model uses underwater audio to listen to the sounds of whale and therefore it can display the location of whales what is the estimated gdp growth rate of india according to the latest economic survey in the next fiscal in the next fiscal year so the estimated gdp growth is 6 to 6.5% recently economic survey was presented by cea that is chief economic advisor mr krishnamurthy subramanian and it was tabled in the parliament by the union finance minister ms nirmala sitaraman what is the gdp growth rate of india in 2018-19 as per the recent statement from nso on 31st of january so nso stands for national statistical office and as per the report it fixed the actual growth at 6.1% for 2018-19 the previous estimation was 6. 8% this estimation was done in may 2019 but now as per the final report the growth is 6.1% and as per nso this downgrade in growth is because of the poor performance in farming and mining sector as well as in manufacturing sector which global tech firm has launched a short video making application called tangi which focuses on creativity So Google launched this short video making application and the name of this application is Tangi and it is similar to TikTok. According to the recent economic survey 2019-20 which state has the cheapest vegetarian thali that is food plate. So recently the chief economic advisor Mr Krishnamurthy Subramaniam presented the economic survey As per the recent economic survey, what is the rank of India globally in terms of number of new firms created? So, as per economic survey, India is on third position in terms of new firms created. And the survey quoted this data from World Bank's data on entrepreneurship. Which Indian American has been appointed as the new chairman of tech company IBM? that is international business machine corporation so mr arvind krishna has been appointed as the new chairman of ibm he is currently serving as the head of cloud and cognitive software unit of ibm and he is going to replace long time female ceo of ibm vazinia romati as company's executive chairman on which date the anti leprosy day for the year 2020 was observed across the world so it was observed on 26th of january this year actually 
This is observed annually on the last Sunday of January. And this year, WHO, that is World Health Organization, adopted the theme and it is Leprosy isn't what you think. The European Union has how many countries after the exit of UK? So UK officially left European Union on 31st of January. Now European Union has 27 countries. So now UK is in transition period and it will remain in this transition period till 31st of December 2020. The India International Leather Fair 2020 held in which city? So this fair held in Tamil Nadu in Chennai and this fair was organized by ITPO that is India Trade Promotion Organization and it functions under Commerce Ministry. Abid Ali Nimuchwala who resigned recently was the chief executive officer of which popular Indian firm. So he was the CEO of Wipro and recently he resigned. It should be noted that he will continue to serve until a proper successor is appointed by the company. The 250th flight operation under RCS Udan scheme was recently commenced between Bhuvneshwar and which Indian city? So it was between Bhuvneshwar and Varanasi and this flight was started under RCS Udan that is Regional Connectivity Scheme Ude Deska Aam Nagrik. Veteran diplomat Mr. Ajay Bisaria was recently appointed as the next Indian High Commissioner to which country? So he has been appointed as Indian High Commissioner to Canada. Prior to this assignment, he was serving as India's High Commissioner to Pakistan. Which Indian was presented the Ayurveda Ratan Award at All Party Parliament Group on Traditional Medicines at the European Parliament in Brussels? So, recently, Mr. Pratap Chauhan was conferred the Ayurveda Ratna Award. The historic infrared space telescope called Spitzer Space Telescope was associated to which space agency? Actually, recently this space telescope was in use as it was decommissioned. So this was associated to NASA that is National Aeronautics and Space Administration and recently NASA decommissioned it. This Spitzer Space Telescope was launched in 2003. The DKIST, the world's largest solar telescope that has recently captured the highest resolution image of which celestial body. So as the name itself suggests, it is solar telescope. So it has captured the highest resolution image of sun and it is world's largest solar telescope and this image was captured using VBI that is Visible Broadband Imager. The Chinese New Year 2020 which fell on January 25th marked the beginning of which year as per the Chinese astrology. So it is the beginning of year of rat and the New Year celebrations have been postponed because of coronavirus. Which tennis player cleansed the women's singles title in Australian Open tournament? So Miss Sophia Kenin won the women's single title in the Australian Open tournament. She is from USA. Now there are four Grand Slams, Australian Open, US Open, French Open and Wimbledon. Which aircraft of Indian Air Force recently took off with a 10% blend of Indian biojet fuel? So Antono AN-32 of Indian Air Force recently took off from Leh and this aircraft was powered with 10% blend of Indian biojet fuel. Which Indian public sector bank recently signed a memorandum of understanding with KR ratings to assess the credit quality of its small and medium enterprise customers? So it is Bank of Baroda and it signed MOU with KR ratings. So this is expected to evaluate the credit quality. Okay, let me ask you a one important banking question. At present, India is following which Basel norms, second or third? Dalip Kaur Tiwana, who passed away recently, was the famous writer in which language? So, she was well-known Punjabi writer and novelist and she passed away recently. What is the state bird of Goa that was recently named as the mascot of 
National Games for 2020. So it is flame throated bulbul. It is the state bird of Goa and it has been named as the official mascot for the 2020 National Games. And this is the 36th edition of National Games. According to the recent union budget, what is the disinvestment target of Indian government for 2020-2021? That means for next fiscal year. So recently, Union Finance Minister Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman presented the budget and as for that, government has set up the disinvestment target at rupee 1.2 lakh crores for the next fiscal year. In addition to this, the government also expect rupee 90,000 crore revenue from the disinvestment of government stakes in public sector banks and in financial institutions including LIC and IDBI. As per the recent union budget, what is the estimated fiscal deficit target for next year expressed in the percentage of GDP? So the fiscal deficit target is 3.5% for next year. Now it should be noted that the fiscal deficit target for 2019-20 was 3.3%. Now it has been revised to 3.8% of GDP citing the revenue shortage as a reason. What is the maximum insurance provided for the bank deposit as per the latest union budget? So the union finance minister increased the maximum insurance provided for the bank deposits to rupee 5 lakh per depositor. Actually, the deposits of customers are insured under DICGC. DICGC stands for Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation. What is the name of new scheme proposed in the budget which is to be implemented by the Aviation Ministry for transporting agricultural products? So the name of the scheme is Krishi Udan Scheme and the scheme will be implemented by the Aviation Ministry for transporting agricultural products of farmers and the scheme will be launched on both international and national routes. Therefore, it will increase the value realization of agricultural products. Who clinched the men's single title in the recently held Australian Open tournament? So Mr. Novak Djokovic won his 8th Australian Open title by defeating Mr. Dominic Thiem. So this is the 17th Grand Slam title of Mr. Novak Djokovic and he is behind two other tennis stars. One is Mr. Roger Federer, he has won 20 titles and one is Mr. Rafael Nadal, he has won 19 titles. Pramod Agarwal was recently appointed as the new chairman and MD of which public sector enterprise. So Mr. Agarwal recently assumed charge as the chairman and MD of CIL that is Coal India Limited. CIL is a Maharatna company. The third private train of IRCTC is set to run between Varanasi and which Indian city? So recently it was announced by the chairman of railway board that the third private train of IRCTC is set to run between Varanasi and Indore. Which Indian diplomat was recently appointed as India's High Commissioner to Sri Lanka? So recently Mr. Gopal Bagale was appointed as India's High Commissioner to Sri Lanka. Currently he is serving at the PMO. PMO is Prime Minister's Office. Which country has declared national emergency to tackle the attack of locust swarms? So recently Pakistan declared national emergency to tackle the locust invasion. Locust are the insects that destroy the crops. In addition to Pakistan, recently Somalia also declared national emergency for the same region. In which Indian city, the Indian Navy conducted coastal security exercise Matla Abhiyan? Right answer is Kolkata. So recently Indian Navy conducted this coastal security exercise Matla Abhiyan at Kolkata. And this exercise is named after the Matla River which flows around the Sundarbans. Which Indian private sector bank has recently launched a self-service delivery facility called iBox? Right answer is ICICI Bank. So recently ICICI Bank launched this self-service delivery facility called iBox. Under this facility, the customers can avail 
various banking services including collecting their debit card or credit card and this facility can be assessed even after the office hours so these i box terminals are to be placed outside the premises of the bank branches and customer can assess them even after the office hours which indian state has recently launched a scheme to deliver pension at the doorsteps of beneficiaries right answer is andhra pradesh so it is a new initiative that has been started by the state government of andhra pradesh and the name of scheme is ysr pension kanuka scheme in addition to the scheme the amount of pension was also increased the previous amount was 1000 now it has been increased to 2250 rupees which country has recently rejoined the commonwealth as 54th member country so recently maldives rejoined the commonwealth and became the 54th member of commonwealth union the president of maldives is mr ibrahim mohammad soli now it should be noted that the commonwealth head of the government meeting will be in rwanda in june 2020 mohammad taufik alawi has been appointed as next prime minister of which country so recently the president of iraq mr barham saleh has appointed mr mohammad taufik alawi as next prime minister it should be noted that the previous prime minister was adel abdul mahdi and he had to resign after the mass demonstrations against the government india recently signed agreements with which country to establish a tourism zone in its addu islands right answer is maldives so recently india and maldives signed agreements for establishing a tourism zone in the addu islands the high commissioner of india is mr sanjay sudhir india was also in news in connection with maldives as recently india handed over a consignment of vaccines for measles and rubella to maldives after a suspected outbreak in maldives it should be noted that maldives is observing 2020 as year of public health harmit desai who was seen in news recently is associated to with sports so harmit desai is associated to tennis and recently he was in news as he won the national table tennis championship he won the title in men's single category while in women's single category in national table tennis championship ms s mukherjee won the title jaswant singh kawal who passed away recently was associated to which field so he was associated to literature and he has authored more than 100 books and the main focus of his novels was agrarian crisis caste barriers women empowerment and popularly he was also known as right trof moments he passed away recently and he was a recipient of sahitya academy award on which date world wetlands day is observed annually so it is observed on 2nd of february every year now 2nd of february is important because on this date in 1971 the ramsar convention was signed this is a convention for the conservation of wetlands ramsar is a site in iran and the theme of this year's world wetlands day is wetlands and biodiversity a training program for school children named uvika is conducted by which indian organization so it is a initiative by isro that is indian space research organization full form of this uvika initiative is yuva vigyani karyakram and this is a program for school children this program was first launched in 2019 and the objective of this initiative is to inculcate the curiosity about space so this will promote awareness among the children related to space activities sathi that means sophisticated analytical and technical help institutes is an initiative of which ministry so it is an initiative of dst that is department of science and technology and dst is under ministry of science and technology so dst has announced that it has planned to set up five sathi centers every year for next 4 years now what is the objective of this initiative actually sathi 
center owns high end analytical testing instruments and therefore it will reduce our dependency on foreign sources with state backed the award for best performance in pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana and this award was recently presented by the union minister of women and child development right answer is madhya pradesh so recently women and child development minister ms smriti rani presented the pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana awards to the best performing states now madhya pradesh was on first place in the category of states with more than 1 crore population on the other hand madhya pradesh was followed by andhra pradesh and haryana which indian state has recently declared the disease caused by the novel coronavirus as a state calamity so recently the state government of kerala declared disease caused by novel coronavirus as a state calamity now it should be noted that kerala reported the first infection from this virus in india now i have uploaded a special video on and coronavirus you can watch that this novel coronavirus was first reported in wuhan in china the hubli to dharwad brts that is bus rapid transit system project was recently inaugurated in with state of india so it was recently inaugurated by vice president of india mr m venkaiya naidu and it is a project between the two cities of karnataka these two cities are hubli and dharwad now this project was jointly funded by the state government central government and world bank which banker of india has been named as the central banker of year by the banker magazine so mr shaktikant das the present rbi governor has been named as the central banker of the year for asia pacific and the global central banker of the year award was presented to jorgonka tabakovi the famous arts festival called kala ghoda arts festival is celebrated annually in which city so it is celebrated in mumbai and it is celebrated since 1999 and it is organized by kala ghoda association it should be noted that this year's edition of kala ghoda arts festival has been organized entirely through crowdfunding using a platform named kito so this year there is no conventional sponsorship and this festival is organized in mumbai the third defense attache conference 2020 was recently held in which city so this conference held in new delhi and it was inaugurated by the union defense minister mr rajnath singh and during this event he announced that india will set up 10 more defense attache in 10 different countries and this will strengthen our defense diplomacy babenko tell me when i die which won the golden conch award for best documentary film is a film of which country so it is a documentary film of brazil and recently this film was given best documentary film award at the mumbai international film festival and this award was presented by the governor of maharashtra mr bhagat singh koshyari lnt mbda missile systems has recently set up a missile integration facility in which state of india so it has been set up at coimbatore city in the state of tamil nadu now it should be noted this ltm msl is a joint venture between lnt and european defense company mbda and it has set up its missile integration facility at coimbatore in tamil nadu what is the theme of world cancer day that was observed recently across the world so the theme is i am and i will so every year world cancer day is observed on 4th of february and this year the theme of the campaign is i am and i will now it should be noted that for the first time this world cancer day was observed in the year 2000 so this year it is the 20th edition of this world cancer day daniel arap moi who passed away recently was the longest serving president of which country so he was the longest serving president of kenya 
and he passed away recently. He was the president of Kenya for 24 years. Now, it should be noted that during his tenure, he passed a constitutional amendment that made the Kenya one party state, that means single political party. However, later it became multi party state. Which film won the best film award in the BAFTA, that is British Academy of Film Awards? So, right answer is 1917. So, the World War based film directed by the British filmmaker Sam Mendes won the Best Film Award in BAFTA. Which country has donated 20 million pounds for developing vaccine to combat the deadly coronavirus? So recently, UK government has donated 20 million pounds for developing a vaccine to combat the coronavirus. And this investment is set to be given to the CEPI. Now CEPI stands for Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations and it aims to develop vaccines. It should be noted that WHO that is World Health Organization has already declared public health emergency due to coronavirus. As per the recent WHO report, what is the investment that is required for the next decade to save 7 million lives globally from the cancer? So the World Cancer Day was observed on 4th of Feb and the theme was I am and I will. And on this Cancer Day, the WHO that is World Health Organization released a report. And as per that report, an investment of rupee 25 million would be required for saving the 7 million lives globally from the cancer. Which Indian fintech company has recently launched a POS device for smaller merchants? POS stands for point of sale. So it has been launched by Paytm and this is for smaller merchants. What is the estimated GDP growth rate of India in 2022-2021 as per the recent forecast from Fitch ratings? So the estimated growth is 5.6%. Now it should be noted that it is lower than the estimated growth rate by economic survey. As per economic survey, the estimated growth is from 6% to 6.5%. Which Indian women tennis player won the women's single title and doubles title in ITF Thailand Championship? So recently Miss Ankita Raina won the women's single title at ITF Thailand Championship and this is her first ITF singles title of the season. Which Indian public sector enterprise has recently raised $750 million Japanese yen loan to reduce the air pollution from its power projects. So recently, NTPC has raised this loan to reduce the air pollution from the power projects of NTPC. And this is the highest single foreign currency loan raised by the enterprise. A national level rural technical festival called Anta Praganya was recently organized in which state or union territory. So it was organized in Telangana at Rajiv Gandhi University of Knowledge Technologies and this is country's biggest technical festival. And the theme of this event was sport and encourage rural tech innovators. Which state government recently launched a scheme called Jan Sevak? to home deliver various government services to the citizens. So recently, the state government of Karnataka launched a scheme called Jan Sevak to home deliver various government services to the citizens. The scheme ensures delivery of ration cards, senior citizens' identity cards and health cards at doorsteps of citizens. Now, if we talk about Karnataka, the chief minister of Karnataka is Mr. B.S. Yadurappa. Karnataka was also in news as recently Vice President Mr. M. Venkaya Naidu inaugurated BRTS in Karnataka. The Union Cabinet of India recently approved schemes to bring which category of banks under the regulation of RBI. So recently Union Cabinet approved amendments to the Banking Regulation Act and it will bring multi-state cooperative banks under the regulation of 
Reserve Bank of India. Now this decision was taken in the backdrop of collapse of PMC Bank last year. PMC stands for Punjab and Maharashtra Cooperative Bank. So now multi-state cooperative banks are under the regulation of Reserve Bank of India. Which Indian actor was recently presented with the Kishore Kumar Samman Award for 2018 by the state government of Madhya Pradesh? So recently Indian actress Ms. Wahida Rahman was conferred with the prestigious Kishore Kumar Samman Award for year 2018 and this award was instituted by the Madhya Pradesh government. Pranab Kumar Gogoi who passed away recently was the famous personality in which field. So Mr. Gogoi was the former speaker of Assam State Legislative Assembly. So he was associated to politics. Now Assam was also in news as recently Khelo India Youth Games held in Assam. Which Indian city is set to be the host to the 15th East Asia Summit Conference 2020? So this conference will be in India, in Chennai, in Tamil Nadu. Now the main focus of this conference is cooperation in maritime security. It should be noted that the 14th EAS East Asia Summit held in Bangkok in Thailand and this year India is the host of this summit and this is the fourth EAS conference organized by India. The flagship defense exhibition of India, DEF Expo, is organized in which city? So recently this was inaugurated in Lucknow and it was inaugurated by the Prime Minister of India. The main theme of this defense expo is India, the emerging defense manufacturing hub and the focus will be on digital transformation of defense. Which Asian country recently introduced a sustainable development fee for regional tourists including Indian visitors? So this decision has been taken by the Bhutan as there is a sharp increase in the Indian visitors and therefore the lower house of Bhutan parliament passed the legislation in this regard. Now it should be noted that previously the tourists from India, Bangladesh and Maldives were exempted from this but now they will have to pay a fees and this fees will be charged from July 2020. What is the GDP growth rate of India in 2020-21 fiscal as estimated by the Moody's Investor Service? Now the estimated growth forecast is 5.5%. Former world champion Mirabai Chanu who recently set a new national record in the national weightlifting championship is associated to which state so C is from Manipur and recently C was in news as C set a new national record in the national weightlifting championship and this championship held in Kolkata. National Horticulture Fair the country's biggest horticulture fair is set to be conducted in which city so it is going on in Bengaluru at the campus of Indian Institute of Horticulture Research and the main theme of this year's fair is making farming an enterprise. Udyanot So is a famous Indian occasion that makes which place open for general public for nearly a month. So it is Rashtrapati Bhavan and this and during this annual event Udyanot So the Mughal Gardens at Rashtrapati Bhavan will be open for general public and recently this Utsa was started by President of India Mr. Ramnath Kovin. Pradhan Mantri Koshal Vikas Kendra Yojana is a flagship scheme of which union ministry? So you can easily guess it by this word Koshal. It means skill. So it is an initiative of Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship and it is implemented by NSDC that is National Skill Development Corporation. The Transport Corporation of which Indian state or union territory has received the Road Safety Award for the lowest accident rate. So it is DTC that is Delhi Transport Corporation. So DTC has been conferred with the Road Safety Award in the urban category for the lowest rate of accidents. 
what is the name of dispute resolution scheme for direct taxes that was recently announced in union budget so recently union finance minister ms nirmala sitaraman presented the budget and during this budget she announced a dispute resolution scheme for direct taxes and under this proposed scheme the taxpayer whose tax demands are locked in any dispute can pay their due taxes by march 31st 2020 apeda that is agriculture and processed food products exports development authority has recently organized first awareness program in which city or union territory so recently apeda organized first awareness program in andaman and nicobar islands a new natural gas field jabel ali gas field with 80 trillion cubic feet of gas resources was recently discovered in which country so it was recently discovered in uae now it should be noted that as of now uae import natural gas from qatar now uae was also in news as world's first graduate level artificial intelligence university is to be set up in uae which indian oil and gas company signed memorandum of understanding with russian energy firm rosneft for importing crude oil from russia so recently ioc that is indian oil corporation signed agreement with russian energy firm rosneft for importing crude oil the present petroleum and natural gas minister is mr dhamendra pradhan as per a recent report on medical data leaks which state is at the top of indian states that are affected by the leaks in medical details so maharashtra is on top in terms of leak of medical data and maharashtra is followed by karnataka and west bengal what is the rank of india in the recently released international intellectual property index 2020 so recently us chamber of commerce gipc that is global innovation policy center released this international intellectual property index and as per this index india's ranking is 40 last year india's ranking was 36 union cabinet of india approved alliance air to start flight operations between india and which country by waiving 20 aircraft rule so recently union cabinet approved alliance airline to start flight operations between india and sri lanka by waiving a 520 rule now what is the meaning of this 520 rule it means that before starting an international flight operations the company should have an experience of 5 years and should have a fleet of at least 20 aircrafts however in case of alliance this 20 aircraft rule was waived so right answer is sri lanka and this alliance air is a 100% subsidiary of air india britain's prince charles has launched a new children's protection fund for which asian country so it was launched for india and this is a part of british asian trust and this trust was founded by prince charles in 2007 and the objective of this trust was to fight poverty in south asia which country recently launched the international religious freedom alliance for protecting religious freedom across the world so this alliance was started by usa now usa was also in news as recently mr taranjit singh sandhu was appointed as indian ambassador to us previous indian ambassador was mr harshvardhan sringla which social media platform recently announced that it will label the fake news and remove harmful data shared on its platform so this decision was taken by twitter and twitter is a us based company and twitter announced that it would label the fake media shared on its platform so that users can identify that this content has been manipulated so the idea is to identify fake news india's 13th major port is set to be established in which state as per the recent approval of cabinet so it will be in maharashtra in wadwa and this is going to be the 13th major port and government of india is expected to hold 51% of the stakes in this project
which Indian city was recently certified formally as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. So the city is Jaipur, the pink city of India. Now, if we talk about UNESCO, the headquarter of UNESCO is in France, in Paris, and India's first UNESCO heritage city was Ahmedabad. The Union Cabinet recently approved to confer the status of Institution of National Importance to how many IIIT, that is Indian Institutes of Information Technology. So this INI status was approved for five new IIITs, and these five are in Surat, Bhopal, Bhagalpur, Agartala, and Raicha. Israel's Albate Systems recently signed a memorandum of understanding with which Indian company for developing an unmanned aerial vehicle that is UAV. So HAL and Albate System signed this MOU for UAV. Now this MOU was signed at Defence Expo and this Defence Expo held in Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh. Which Indian celebrity is at top spot in the latest brand valuation study by Def and Phillips? So Mr. Virat Kohli is on top as per this study. While on second position is Mr. Akshay Kumar and Ms. Deepika Padukone along with Mr. Ranveer Singh is on third position. What is the repo rate after the 6th Bi-Monthly Monetary Policy Committee meeting of RBI in February 2020? So the RBI recently conducted its 6th Bi-Monthly Monetary Policy Committee meeting and as per that the repo rate is 5.15%. So this MPC that is Monetary Policy Committee decided the rates as follows. Repo rate is 5.15%. Reverse repo is 4.90%. What is the new deadline to restructure the accounts of MSME as per the recent announcement of RBI? So the new deadline is 31st of March 2021. The previous deadline was 31st of March 2020. Jabong, which was shut down recently, was owned by which company? So Jabong was owned by Flipkart and recently it was in news because it was shut down. And the users of Jabong are now redirected towards Mintra. Rakhi Haldar, who was seen in news recently, is associated to with sports. So C is associated to weightlifting and C is from West Bengal. C recently won a gold medal in the 64 kg category. Who was recently awarded the International Gandhi Award for Leprosy by the Indian President? So recently Dr. N. S. Dharam Shaktu was awarded International Gandhi Award for Leprosy in individual category. While in institution category it was given to Leprosy Mission Trust. Christina Koch who was in news recently is associated to which field? So she is an astronaut of NASA and recently she created a world record by spending 328 days in ISS that is International Space Station. Which state is set to host the Hornbill Festival this month which was originally celebrated in Nagaland? So the state is Tripura and it will hold the Hornbill Festival for the first time. Actually. It is a state festival of Nagaland and Tripura is hosting this festival with an aim to conserve the hornbill bird. Kirk Douglas who recently passed away is associated to which field? So Mr. Douglas was associated to cinema and he was well known Hollywood actor. He passed away recently. As per the periodic labor force survey, what was the unemployment rate in our country in 2017-18. So recently, Minister of State for Labour, Mr. Santos Gangwar, announced that government has conducted a new periodic labour force survey. And as per the results of this periodic labour force survey, the unemployment rate in our country was 6.1% in 2017-18. As per the recent report of media agency Group M, what is the position of India in the list of global advertising markets in 2020. So India is on 8th position and this is 2 position higher than the previous year's ranking. USA is on 1st position and USA is followed by China and Japan. So these were the most important questions of first week of February 
2020. Thank you and that's all for the day.